When I was a teenager, my father asked me, do you think successful people make mistakes? And I said, probably not so many because if they made a lot of mistakes, they would not be successful. And he said, son, this is where you're going to learn a few things in life. I said, what do you mean, father? And he said, successful people make a lot of mistakes because he said, the faster you're going to run, the harder you're going to fall. He said, your ability to bounce back quickly, that's the secret. And I said, well, are there people that just don't make mistakes? He said, yes, there are those people. He said, but they're all lying in some type of graveyard because everybody makes a lot of mistakes. You just have to learn how to bounce back. To all you entrepreneurs out there, I'm Gulrat Singh Shahpuri. I'm a business coach and a leadership trainer. I'm also a Gallup Strengths coach, an NLP practitioner, and a DISC specialist. And I'm going to tell you the long and short on how to bounce back quickly. If you're having one of those days where all is lost and nothing seems to be going correctly, don't you worry, we have to snap out of it. I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna turn around. It's important because if it's a short-term thing, meaning that if it's a one-off day, we can't lose that day. But if it's a long-term thing where you're having consistent days like this, you know what? I understand depression. A series of these days, actually it takes three, three bad days for you to start getting into that downward spiral and you have to find ways to get it back because we need to get you out of that downward spiral. So let's put two minutes on the clock and I'm gonna tell you how to restructure a bad day so we can hit it out of the park. Number one, watch out for a reaction day. These are days where you're actually reacting to all sorts of things. The weather is bad, I got stuck in bad traffic or whatever it may be. You have to choose your own reactions to whatever happens. Life is empty and meaningless. You define how you feel towards certain things. If something has happened, let's say a bad day, I don't like to live in rainy cities because I feel bad about my days. No, that's a choice. You choose how you're going to react to anything that happens to you. And when you realize that, you get control over the situation. Technique number two is the 0000 reboot technique. Why four zeros? Because if you remember old tape players, they had that counter meter that was going on the side. And if you press that button next to it, it used to go to 0000 and you start it again fresh. I'm gonna teach you how to reboot. The first reboot technique is go back to your to-do list. You do make a to-do list, right? Yes, go back to your to-do list and you need to set things in priority. What I mean is put the urgent important things first, then the important things, and then the urgent things, and then everything else. And then you put a time next to each thing. Now, why do you put the urgent important things? Because get them done first. Why the important things afterwards? Because that's gonna make you feel like you did something. Then do the urgent things because you know what? If somebody has to wait somewhere for you, don't worry about it, and then everything else and you're probably not gonna get around to those things. Now, why are you gonna put times next to each task? That's because I want you to do the five minute tasks or the two minute tasks quickly and get them out of the way. You'll feel good about yourself. Number two of the 0000 technique is find a quiet spot and meditate. And as for your thoughts, don't let your brain focus on those. You're gonna meditate silently without thinking about anything. And then after your meditation, do five or 10 minutes of journaling. And when you're doing journaling, you're going to think of some pretty important stuff. Pick the one or two things. Remember the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule? The Pareto principle says that 20% of your tasks are going to lead to 80% of your efficiency. Find that 20%. Then you're gonna think of a reward. Let's say it's dinner with a loved one. Pick up the phone, make some reservations, work extra hard at work that day and go straight from work to dinner. Have any type of reward you want. Make sure you can visualize it and see it. It's gonna make your momentum grow again. And the fourth reboot technique of 0000 is do something out of the ordinary. Get up, go talk to somebody that you ordinarily don't talk to. Go do something that you normally don't do. It could be jumping jacks. It could be just make yourself a cup of green tea. Number three, apologize whatever or whoever put you into this mood go to that person and apologize whether it was your fault or not you apologize because an apology a sorry is always the beginning of a whole new relationship and the fourth and the last one is self-talk now I'm a person that cannot self-talk and I'm a person that does self-talk 70% of people are able to talk to themselves and the 30% like me cannot I have to force myself, but you know, when you do self-talk, you have to do it verbally. Your mouth has to be able to connect with your ears. Don't do it inside, it doesn't work. When your subconscious hears you saying things like, I'm still gonna hit it out of the park today. Today just started. Don't worry, I can still use the 80-20 rule to my advantage. Whatever it is, it's going to start clicking for you. Time's up. I'm gonna give you two bonus tips. Be proactive for tomorrow. 
Make sure tomorrow is going to be extraordinary. Make your to-do list, prioritize it, and start it with the get-go with your priorities right off the bat. And number two, do not check your email. Do not check your instant messages until you've had a good look at your to-do list and you're already starting it. And that's how tomorrow is going to be. And now you know how to hit a six every day or hit a home run, depending on whatever part of the world you live in. And now let me summarize. Number one, make sure you're not having a reactive day. Number two, make sure you're using the 0000 reboot technique. Number three, apologize. And number four, do self-talk. If you have a technique that couldn't be covered in these two minutes, make sure you write it in the comments below. And save this video because the next time you're gonna be having a bad day, you wanna be able to refer to these techniques right away. If any of these techniques made you feel like, hey, I should be doing that, then make sure you hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button so you get these videos every Tuesday as soon as they come out. Thank you for watching. You guys are great. I love the support you keep giving me. I'll see you next time.